Adam helped us out. It, he said precipitation, evaporation, condensation, and I just mentioned transpiration. I want you to draw this into your notes. Label those arrows. Make sure they're pointing in the right directions. And remind yourself that precipitation comes in the form of rain, snow, hail, sleet. Okay? So go ahead and copy and label that now into your notebook. All right, now that you've drawn that in your notebook, we're going to watch a quick video. It's a cartoon, two boys, one of them is a soccer player, and it's pouring down rain, and he's worried that they're not going to be able to play their game because the field is filling with puddles. And the other boy starts to talk to him about the water cycle and explains, don't worry about the sun will do its job, and so forth. So I'm going to let you go ahead and watch it, and it really, truly explains transpiration, evaporation, precipitation, condensation, and the whole water cycle in itself. So pay attention to the video. It's only a couple minutes long. Your team's so ready for the big game tomorrow. Yeah, we're ready. But look at the fields. There are holes everywhere. Uh, come on, don't let a little precipitation get you down. A simple what? Precipitation. It's another word for rain. It's actually for any form of water that falls in the sky. You mean like snow, sleet, or hail? Yup, they're precipitation too. Well, if this precipitation doesn't stop soon, we'll be playing slip and slide instead of soccer tomorrow. Don't worry, RJ. Tomorrow's supposed to be hot and sunny. Those puddles will be history by game time. How can you be sure? So let's just say I'm counting on the water cycle to do its stuff. What comes down must go up. The water cycle is the endless path that water takes from the earth to the clouds and then back to the earth again. We already talked about precipitation. Like this rain. What? Well, when precipitation falls from the sky, it fills the lakes, rivers, and oceans, runs down the mountain, and soaks into the soil. And we drink it. And we do. So do other animals, and plants too. They draw in water to get nutrients from the soil and to keep cool. We're all part of the water cycle, but not the only part. Did you know that a lot of water just disappears into thin air? Really? How? Through evaporation. When water gets warmed by the sun, it changes from a liquid into an invisible gas called water vapor. Invisible? What? The water is still in the air, but you can't see it because it's a gas. I call that evaporation. <laughs> so the water vapor is invisible. How do we know it's there? Sometimes you can feel it. You know, like on those hot, humid days. Oh, yeah. When just kicking a ball around makes you sweat. Exactly. Sweat evaporates too. That's another way water gets back into the air. And plants do kind of the same thing. Plants sweat? Kind of. It's called transpiration. Plants lose water through their leaves, and it evaporates like our sweat does. So, Mr. Water Cycle Wizard, what happens next? Remember, what comes down must go up. The water vapor gas rises in the air. As it does, it cools down. That makes the gas turn back into droplets of water, and they form clouds. It's called condensation. Makes sense. Evaporation is water turning into vapor. And condensation is vapor turning into water or getting denser. And when the clouds get so filled with water that they can't hold any more, it rains. Bingo! The whole process repeats. So water really does travel in a cycle. When water on Earth is warm, it evaporates and becomes water vapor, an invisible gas. As the water vapor rises into the air, it cools and turns into water droplets again. That's called condensation. Then the water droplets form clouds, rain falls from the clouds, and the cycle starts all over again. Yup, so here we are, smack dab in the middle of the water cycle. Oh yeah, I think the rain's stopping. Nice, now all we need is some heat. Oh, I'll bring the heat in tomorrow's game. Alright, so a good description of the water cycle, right? Easy to follow. 
and they had some pretty good descriptions. All right, any questions so far on the water cycle and the processes of the water cycle? So four terms that you need to remember for the water cycle. Transpiration, when those leaves um, release from their pores water vapor. Evaporation, when water is um, warmed and it's heated and it starts to evaporate, change into a gas and rises up. Precipitation, where water comes back down to earth. And condensation, where water that was evaporated cools and forms water droplets. Okay? All right, how does the sun affect the water cycle? How does the sun affect it? Yes? It, like, heats up the water and then the water comes into your gas and water. Okay, what else does it heat up? Besides water, it heats up the air and the land. So, somebody come up and let's answer this sentence and we'll check our answers. Chris, what do you think the sentence says? The sun heats up the um, land and the sun heats up the land. And well, what other two things? Uh, um, plants and just had it. What do you think? The sun heats up the land, water, and kill. And air. Okay, go up there and move those scribble marks and let's see if you were right. Do it. Just move it up. Oh. Can you just see? Okay. Water. Uh, that's air. And that's water. Excellent. Nice job. All right. So the sun heats up the land, the water, and the air. Great job. All right. Moving forward. What happens when the sun heats the earth? What happens if the if this earth gets all warm? What's going to happen? Evaporation and um, evaporation. transpiration and evaporation. Awesome. So I need a volunteer to come up, and what you're going to do is you're going to tap on different areas. I have two transpiration examples up here and two evaporation examples that you need to find. As you tap on it, it kind of shows up, it fades in to the screen. Go ahead. Okay. Tap. tap a little harder. There you go. It's there. Just take some time. So that's evaporation. Evaporating from that lake or something, okay? What else? Come on up. Tap where you think either transpiration or evaporation is happening. A little higher. Right. Transpiration from the trees. Good. All right, so water is coming from the pores of the leaves of the tree. Another, uh, go ahead, come on up, Melissa. Okay, what do you think that is? Transpiration. Okay, tap it again. That's just a little... Okay. There you go, you got it. Transpiration, good job. All right, there's one more evaporation example. We got one from the lake. Now where else can we be at having evaporation happening? Okay, come on up. So we have this river or stream that's draining into this lake, and there's evaporation happening up here as well. Okay, so we have evaporation coming from the stream, evaporation coming from this lake, or maybe it's an ocean, I'm not sure. Transpiration coming from these flowering plants. We also have transpiration coming from the trees. Okay? Good job, volunteers. Write this down. In condensation, water vapor becomes water droplets. Those water droplets form clouds. Write that into your notes.
So there's going to be a picture up here. I need someone to come and draw some clouds. Who'd like to come up and draw some clouds? Come on up, Janelle. So I'll write that down. In condensation, water vapor becomes water droplets, and the water droplets form clouds. Okay? All right, Janelle, pick up a marker there and draw some clouds. Anywhere? Anywhere you want. More. However many you want. Whatever size. Very good. Clouds. Just making it a cloudy day. Huh? It's all right. Cloudy day. Good job. All right. What or how does water move from the clouds back to the earth? Everybody? Evaporation. Say it again. Evaporation. Evaporation. Oh, wait. From the clouds oh. to the earth. What's it? Precipitation. 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 Oh, I got it backwards. Yeah, you got it backwards. Okay. So precipitation, we're going to have these clouds that Janelle drew us, right? And it's going to rain or it could snow. Snow. Hail. Hail. Whatever, whatever the uh, weather decides, right? Depending on temperatures and whatnot. Okay? Now, we have a diagram here, and I need someone to come up and drag these, oops, drag these words to where they should go. Okay? So we're filling in the blanks in a sense. Deja, come up and do one. Chanel, come up and do one. Carol, come up. And Haley. Each of you do one word, put it where you think it needs to be. Who's Chanel? Did I say Chanel? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Shayla. Yeah. Shayla, Carol, Haley. Who else did I say? Gabby. Oh, did I say Deja? Come on up, Deja. Oh, hold on. Smart boy doesn't want to act smart, right? All right. It should work now. All right, evaporation happening from that lake there. Very good. Good. Precipitation. Rain falling from the cloud. It does, girl. Okay. Where, why are you putting that there? All right, good. Good, 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 good. So condensation is that water vapor, those clouds forming. And then we have this red arrow here from the tree to the sun, right? I think it's locked in a little too high, but make that a little easier to see. Okay? Very good. Nice job. Um, say that real quick. Okay. Put these back. <laughs> I did a good job, but they didn't know my sister. Sure did. <laughs> Not. All right. Done with this one. Now. Just want you to take a look at this picture one more time. Okay. We have it's a new one. So just a, just a little different. We have the condensation, which is the what? Right. Wow. All right, where we have water droplets that form these clouds. And we have falling from the clouds, what? Precipitation. Excellent. And then from the lakes and the rivers, we have what happening? Evaporation. And from the plants, we have? Transpiration. 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 Transportation is you riding on the bus home. Okay? All right. Any good any other questions?